Yeah, so, man, okay. So talk about, uh, I mean, after that, it's like, all right, now it's time to work on a solo album. Yeah. So you do, uh, you working on People's Shim. Talk about that. That whole time, well, even amongst that time, this is right, I was signed, it was kind of weird because me and Camino was our separate ways. Due to time, my contract was up with Payton Fool. We had a deal with Payton Fool where we did a five-album deal, me and Camino, five albums. It was going to be... Uh, Two Power on Camino albums. It was gonna be a solo album from me, a solo album from him. Then it was gonna be a Water Boys album with me, Camino, Fifty Fifty, and Lou Hawk. Okay. We only did one album. Get your mind correct. That was it. Then we separate ways. So I felt even and there's a it was a clause that was you know if a certain time passes and you don't put them out it's we free and clear or whatever. So you can kind of wait out your contract. But nobody want to sit out five, six years, you know. And I remember, rest in peace with Cricket, he used to always tell me, hey, bro, it's been a long time since you put something out, bro. And love of my money ain't going to be hot forever, bro. You got to put something. You got to keep your name hot. You got to keep putting shit out. And he, he really, I never forgot it, him telling me that, you know. And um, that's when I used to do a lot of uh, party promoting, and we'd run commercials on the radio. Me and Goo used to throw parties and shit. But, um, but anyway, uh, so it... We um, I felt like we owed him five albums. We only gave him one. Get your mind correct. I felt like I can't give you four more albums, and I don't really want to. He Matt Hatter too was kind of like almost almost done because he's full time radio. He didn't care about rapping. He's doing full time radio, so he didn't really care about being a record label. And he never really was like in it to be a CEO record label, out signing artists, this and that, discovering artists. He only formed a record label to put his own self out. You know what I'm saying? Kind of same way I got all the mob. I only started all the mob so that I could put my own music out the way I want to without someone else trying to tell me, hey, put this kind of music out because it sell more music. You know, no, nah, I want to put out what I want to put out for all the reasons that I want to put it out, you know? And so anyway, that's, I just felt like he kept it real with us and paid us when he didn't have to. When Southwest, when Southwest Wholesale went bankrupt, man, Matt had, let me keep it real with you. I, I was already signed to the Switch House. This is, I just signed a deal. I signed a deal. And I went to I went to them too as well to say, hey, you cool with me doing this? This is what I want to do. This is kind of like, well, actually, I, I, when I say I, I was already signed, this was like kind of like, all right, I'm going to sign, but let me do this to make it right with them. And they was cool with it because, for one, it showed you that if it come down the line with me and them, I'm going to hold my end with yeah. them too. You know, so, and as well, they saw that, me putting anything out with Matt Hatter, anything, period, is only going to help, or not even just with Matt Hatter, but only with him because he do good business. You know, he handles his business. But he, um, from, so I, I came to him, I said, Hatter, look, man, watch, I just signed with Watch and G-Dash, and they cool with this. Look, I want to do an album with you first, because I was already, me and Camino was working on solo albums with Payton Fool already anyway. So I already had half an album over there anyway. Done. This is the Cheek Magnet album. This is the yeah. Cheek Magnet. The other half I was recording on my own at the Gridiron with Pretty Todd so and, and Calvin. So um, Calvin Earl. So <clears throat> one time, one day, Matt had a, met me over here at, uh, man, as a, uh, man, actually, you know what, to be honest, that um, actually kind of went a little different. They had the contract there with me, and they telling me, and I'm asking them, is it all good? I called Watts, I mean, I called Matt Hatter over there to the gridiron, and he came over there. He sat down there with me, with me in his bins. I sat there and kept it real with him, how I felt about what me and Kamina had going on. At the time, Kamina had a studio right right there where Peyton Fool Studio was, right above it, or like around the corner, right the same building. So if I ever, any time, went to the studio of Peyton Fool, I was always going to see Kamina. Now, if I'm going over there to create art, I don't want to be running into every single time somebody that I'm not getting along with or that I'm getting into it with. I don't even want to think that that might even cross my mind. I'm trying to go in another direction. So I kept, I told him straight up, man, there is no way I could even possibly come over there and do nothing with you going further when it comes to recording over there because I'm not trying to run into comedian and get into it with him or nothing like this. or what. I'm not trying to go there. So let me, the way to keep it healthy long term right now is just for me to, whatever, I know my contract is up with you. But... I got music over there I've been working on, and I got music here I've been working on. Come in here and check this music out. He came in there, he checking the music out, and he was kind of surprised, because I was kind of giving him a presentation. I mean, he was kind of surprised because he wasn't expecting it. 
And I was like, man, this is what I proposed. Man, let me put out my album with you, Chick Magnet, just so that I can feel like I'm living up to some part of my end of the bargain. Watson G, that's cool. I'm going to sign with them. I'm, so basically, I'm signing with them, but they cool with me doing this with you, making right with you. So I'm not going to give you, and he was, like, he was like, man, I ain't trying to put this out just to put it out. And I'm like, nah, if it got my name attached, I'm going to put my all into it. I'm going to get my, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to promote the fuck out of it. I'm going to try my best to put a good album together. You know, it's my first ever solo album, so what the fuck do I know what I'm doing? And I'm, you know, there ain't no A&R or nothing like that, so what the fuck you, what do I know what I'm doing? You know, but I, I tried my, my best. I really did. And shit, we put it out. We sold a shitload of music, and it did work. But that was kind of like my way of kind of, at least thinking and thinking he might not had him might not have gave a fuck. Had him might have been doing me a favor just by putting that out anyway, to be real. Yeah. But in my mind, I felt like I gotta do right by you at least some way, even if I'm up due to contracts. And then we put out controversy sales as well. And then that's when and since he let me put out I mean, and since you know we did Chick Magnet, they don't know what's on Chick Magnet at first. And that's how I ended up on People's Champ too, because it kinda had ran its course in Texas on the radio, but when we were signed, they loved it. All the people at, what you call it, you know, Asylum and Atlantic, they was like, hey, this need to be your next single. And I'm like, nah, it already didn't been played out in Texas. Played out. So it's like they played the fuck out of it. So they're not going to play it again like that. Like, so, we, But they just was like, nah, we need it nationally so that we can show the nation what's going on in Texas. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Y'all know what y'all doing. I don't. So shit, bet. And it was a big hit nationally too for us too. They don't know, but that's why it was on the Chick Magnet and it was on uh, the People's Champ. But I was all, that's why I also I was very adamant of I gotta remix it some type of way. It can't be the same. So I did a, another verse at the end, and Bum B did a you know him and Mike Jones split a verse. Mm -hmm. And y'all did the video and all that. Yeah, yeah. Video for it. Mm -hmm. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.